So, Minnesota gets cold, you gotta have jumper cables. But sometimes, your jumper cables, when they get up there, they separate and no longer have that kind of seam that runs down the middle to hold them together. And if you have Christmas lights and they're getting old and you save the spindly guys, they work pretty dang well to um, keep your, your, uh, your, your cables organized. So, contained. contained. Instead of trying to like zip tie them or glue them or tape them back together, we just leave them separate. So, these are, how long are these? Mm -hmm. They're long. And under here, you can um, actually uh, unwind them from here. Uh, and you, you can kind of spin them out, sort of. Uh, how far can they spin out? Or are they jammed up? You, yeah, you can spin them out all the way. Do we dare? All right, so you can uh, disconnect your negative. Oh, that's a good one. And you wind it out as far as you need to go. And then, bam, connect it to your battery. And then you go to the other side. Connect it to there and battery. How about your ear? Chunk. Oh, that would, oh, there'd be some pain. Um, but anyway, this is a cool, neat little organizational trick that keeps them where they need to be. And uh, then um, just clamp it right on and it's all contained in one piece. Look at that guy. By the way, the positive operates the same way the negative does. We won't show you how that works. It's just, it's just a little less optimistic. That's right. <laughs> the, the positive is cheerful and the negative is, I know, they're down in the dumps. Well, there you go. Maybe that's a shop hack, life hack. Um, if the cables are still soft and, and, and high, high gauge, which these are pretty decent gauge on here. Um, I don't know if these are maybe four or something like that. They're four. Not a two or a zero, but they're a, maybe they're maybe they're a two. Cost real money, you know, for copper jumper cables. Okay, that's what we got going on. Thank you much. Minnesota is rust. Oh yeah.